Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Nikki and this is Cook with Nikki. On today's menu, we'll make it all purpose tomato stew. You can have it for rice, yam, whatever you want to have it. Yes, this is my turkey. I'm using turkey. This is a soft one and it's frozen. And I'm going to season it with my ginger powder. As you can see, this is my large batch of um, ginger powder and I need more um, to buy later. And I'm um, going to be adding sweet and gently Kimberly um, seasoning. This Kimberly spices is mainly for Kimberly, but I just love it for a lot of things. And one of them is seasoning my um, meat and chicken, and it's so good. I also added half a um, cube of um, chicken seasoning. I'm adding um, grounded anise seed. At this point, any seasoning that you have, you could use it. I'm using only dry um, seasoning. I'll tell you why. Also added garlic powder. I'm adding some... Um, grounded um cloves and i'm also going to be adding some um curry powder so i added a little bit water because everything is dry and i, I just want to mix them to make sure all the um, turkey has some seasoning on it so the uh, water helps it so that's why i'm adding a little bit of water to it after mixing everything, um, yeah, my turkey is ready and I'm going to be frying this. So the reason why I did not use the fresh um, season like the fresh onion blended and all that garlic and all that stuff is because I'm not going to be um, cooking the turkey before frying it. I'm just frying it right in the oil after seasoning with my dry ingredients. Also, I have my own stock. And I'm going to show you that in a minute, that's why I did not use the fresh seasoning to season my turkey. I just used the dry one because when I use the fresh one, it's going to take forever and it's going to be like a lot of liquid in the oil and I didn't want that. And this is my stock. Yeah, it looks frozen because I have this in my freezer. I throw it out anytime I want to use it and it's so, so good. It's a stock I got for my baked chicken. I'm going to link that video for you to see. Anytime you bake chicken the way I did, you're going to have this stock and it is so good. Good for stews, and jollof rice and all anything you want to use it for. And this is my blended tomatoes, onion, and pepper. After blending it, I cooked it. Yes, I cooked it so most of the moisture has evaporated. And I did this a lot and I also saved this in my freezer. So anytime I want to make stews or things that I need, like those kind of tomato base, just easy, just throw it out and use it. Yeah, worth saving. When you have time, just get a lot of um, tomatoes, blend them, um, cook it. Put it in your freezer and anytime you want to make stews like this it doesn't take long because tomato is cooked so when you put it in your oil it doesn't take um, long to um, be ready so as you can see um, my um, turkey is also ready and you see all that brown stuff around it yeah trust me if it was burnt i was not gonna do this i'm gonna strain it but it's not it's the seasoning from the turkey and trust me after you put in your tomatoes it's gonna dissolve and everything is gonna be fine it's not bitter at all and it's not burnt so but if you're not safe just strain it okay and this is my um, fried turkey yes i did not cook it um just give it time to fry in the oil and trust me it's to uh, cook really really well so good so i had to crush on one or two yeah and this is my cow leg we call it koto j i love this because it acts like the cow um skin like the willy as we call it and it's so good when you add it to stews like this but um yeah if you don't like it, you don't have to this i just i feel like i wanted that in my stew today so yeah and i let my um onion fry for about two to three minutes and i'm adding my um tomato paste to it so after adding my tomato paste i want to make sure i keep stirring it uh, because uh, it's a little bit sticky from all that seasoning and um, if you leave it for a little bit, it's going to burn and you don't want that. So I keep stirring this for about like two to three minutes. And this is how it's looking after that. And yeah, I'm now going to be adding my cooked um, tomatoes, um, peppers, and onion into it. And you're going to see the magic that happened. All that brownish stuff around the pot is going to dissolve and everything is fine. Trust me, this is not burnt. It's not bitter. And if you're not safe, if you don't think it's if you think it's better, just strain it and change your pot. But trust me, I've done a lot 
uh, stews like this and it's so good you can't even see the um, black or whatever color the brown and stuff again it's so good you're gonna love it if you make it this way yeah look at that do you see any brownish any black no you don't right yes <laughs> so yeah um i let this cook for additional five to ten minutes and i'm going to be adding my chicken um stock to it if you don't have this stock yet yeah, this is the time that you want to add the stock from your turkey because you're going to cook a little bit of the turkey before you fry because you need a little bit of that stock into your stew but i do have a lot so i didn't need to cook my turkey because i have a lot of stock that I can use and this is one of the main reasons that I saved that stock from the um, big chicken I did last time so yeah I'm now adding my um kutoje my cow leg to it I'm also going to be adding my fried turkey um just to let you know this is the drumstick of the turkey you could use any part um you want also you could use any um protein of your choice fish um um goat um beef pork whatever you want just use it um, for this recipe so with the cow leg when i cook on the side i did not add any seasoning to it i just added salt to it that's why i try to add it um earlier in the stew so the stew will infuse into it as well as the fried um turkey i just added half of my chicken seasoning i used the half to um, season the turkey and i'm adding the half to the stew and i'm adding my ground anise seed to um to it. use any seasoning of your choice at this point I'm also adding some curry powder yes curry powder in stews like this tastes so good and it brings a lot a lot of flavor to it i'm adding a little bit of salt always want to taste before you add more if you need to after adding all my seasoning i need a stir it to make sure everything is well mixed together and this stew is looking good already what are you thinking of having with this stew your rice your yam whatever yeah, it goes well with a lot, lot of things. And look at how my stew is looking already. At this point, if you think your stew is so thick, you can add more water to it. But this is perfect consistency for me. And I'm adding some chopped um, green bell peppers to it. This is optional. If you don't love green bell peppers, you don't need to. But yes, if you do add it, it brings a lot of flavor to your stew and it smells so good. After letting this cook for about two minutes, I almost forgot my shells ground spices. You know me when I'm making these stews. I love my shells ground spices, all natural spices, and it smells so good. Just a little bit is all you need. You could use it for a lot of things, but I love it in my tomato based stew. The reason why I do, if you've ever lived in Ghana, um, our Muslim friends, I live in the Muslim community, so they are solid stew. This shows ground spices bring that smell, bring that flavor for me. So yeah, that's why I always love to use that um, spices when I'm making stews like this. So yeah, I'm going to link her contacts in the description bar just in case you want to purchase one. You're going to thank me later. Of course, my stew is ready and I'm going to be having this with some rice. You could have it with yam, you could have it with cassava, you could have it with curry, have it with banku, kinky, it's endless, yes. And yes, my food is ready. It was really, really good. I loved it. I hope you try this recipe and you're never going to be disappointed. You're going to love it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this recipe. I hope you loved it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And I know you did, so I know you're going to do it. Thank you. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It helps me out a lot. Yes, thank you so much. Until I come your way next time, this is Cook with Nike. Be good to yourself. Be good to everyone. It goes a long way.